crazy here. I think we are live, folks. Hi, hello, and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. So we're going to compare some two birds. One Mizen from Option O and the one from uh, SSP.Caspers. So, okay, so think about Mizen versus uh, answer to SSP Cast. So the option will come up with their own version of kind of like lap suite type, give you clarity and balance to your coffee. So I have a two bird set up right here. I have the Mizen bar on option O and I have a Caspers on DF64, okay? All right, so let's see, coffee, we're gonna compare. The, the, here's the thing about the comparison, all right? Here's the thing about the comparison. I mean, I have luxury to do some comparison, okay? The fact is, if you, if you only have one bird at home, I mean, what's the point, right? What's the point? So I know, I know some of you out there looking for different types of birds, so before you decide to go with which birds you want to go, make sure, okay, make sure, uh, do your research. And I have a lot of video on bird comparison on this channel. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, okay? And they also put the bell notification so you don't miss my live streaming. Okay. So I'm going to be comparing with coffee from Little Wave. Coffee roasters. So this is a roaster of the year 2022 all right new uh 2022 roaster of the year i cannot wait to try this it's been resting for a while so now this is a perfect time to drink okay this is perfect time to drink all right you know what let's uh brew some coffee again uh make sure jo uh, join the live chat as well okay uh, look like we got some few people on Shout out to Joe Badio. If you have any question on DF, ask Joe. Okay, Joe. Uh, Joe's on live chat right now. So, if you have any question on DF sixty four, DF eighty three, and then uh, hold on, Elaine, can you hear me? How's the sound? Can you guys hear me? Okay, just make sure we have sound before we go do some comparison. Uh, let me know in the live chat. Make sure you can uh, you guys can hear me. All right, let's see here. I'm just gonna wait till. Can you hear me? Yep, sounds okay, good. So we are good. All right. All right, folks. All right, I think we are ready. So again, I got 18 grams each on both grinder. Uh, I'm gonna do direct dose for both of them, okay? I'm gonna be doing direct dosing here. I have a one. I have an identical portafilter filter as well. I filter baskets. I have a 18 gram basket on IMS, so we're gonna, do, we're gonna be doing side by side. And then what else are we gonna do? Uh, pretty much it. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Okay. I'm gonna be doing 18 gram. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of RDT. Okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of RDT here. Let's pass some little bit of water. Okay. All right, here we go. Comes to static wise, it's not as bad. <coughs> okay. 
Okay, so so this is good. Okay, very fluffy. Uh, I'm gonna tamp it in about a few seconds. Okay, uh, let's work on the cast right now. Right, let's work on the cast birds. Okay, we are doing the direct dosing here. Uh, seems like the uh, Caspers are a lot more. So that's the Meisen right here, Meisenbers and Caspers. All right. So this is the Meisenberg. All right, I'm gonna get my the cast birds ready to go as well. Let's the cast bird ready. Oh man, it has a lot of group uh, head space there. So I have feeling it might be too coarser let's find that all right let's find that so let's start with the miser so this is the miser bird Make sure you look at the time as well. About 24 seconds at 38 gram. So this is the Meisen. So let's do the cast. Okay, let's move on to cast birds. All right, shot number two. Yeah, I have feeling it's gonna be, grind setting is a little bit fine there. Yeah, a little bit fine. So Meisen bird was fine. I, th I thought they grind, so this coffee was okay. But this one, I think we might have to redo it. Yeah, we might have to redo the second shot here, folks. So this is a, a little bit over extracted. Hold on, I'm just gonna set to the side. Okay, I'm gonna. I thought I was dialed then, but let's do that quick, okay? Okay. We're gonna do a little quick here. You got 18 gram going in. So right now my grind setting at 
about 40 click here on my DF. I think I'm gonna go little coarser, okay? About couple, about one, two, maybe three notch. Coarser there. All right, here I go. Man, look, uh, look at the grind quality. Okay, seems like this is a little bit more uniform for some reason, okay. Okay, here I go. One more time. So this is the Caspers. <coughs> there we go. Much better. Twenty four seconds, thirty seven grams. So very close to a first shot with a Meisen burr. So that's the cast. This is a Meisen. Okay. Now let's try. Okay, I'm gonna let's uh, let's figure out how difference be, uh, difference between Meisen versus cast. Here we go. Okay. All right. Hopefully. We got our video set going here. By the way, uh, if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome to live stream, uh, streaming. Uh, we are doing the simulcast right now with uh, our Discord members. So, man, looking at the man, looking at the monitor, man, my face is all red. Goodness, this lighting is terrible. All right, so let's start with Meisenberg. So this is a copy from. Little Wave Coffee, uh, Wash Ethiopia, uh, Blueberry, Lemonade, and Peach. Okay, Blueberry, Lemonade, and Peach. Happy Friday. Happy Fridays, guys. Man, I can smell lemonade right now. Wow. Lemonade. Uh, kind of like the, the acidity of a lot of lemon. Okay. Blueberry is not quite, okay? A lot of lemonade is great. Sweet, tangy, very pleasant, all right? Goodness. Hold on a second, yeah. Now, this is Casper's, okay? We are doing the Casper's here. Here you go. Cheers. Okay, smells pretty good as well. Man, more body with cast. Okay, uh, more body than what? I'm, uh, what in body is a texture? So this is more like kind of like skim milk. Okay, texture to it. So this is more like a uh, 2% milk, but uh, also temperature is different as well. If I'm going to cool down this for another minute or so, because between this shot versus this shot, about two, 
like minute and a half. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna wait about another minute. I'm gonna try again. But so far, I felt like the Maizen give you more sweetness. Yeah, surprising, okay. Surprisingly, Maizen bar give you more sweet there. So I I'm just gonna wait for a second, okay. Because, because I want to taste uh, about the same temperature, so. I, I think that's important as well. That's very important. You want to be, I mean, if you're to compare something, you know, you need to compare apple to apple, okay? And uh, because uh, whenever you drink espresso, the, when coffee is hot, you're going to have a different tasting notes. When it starts cooling down, you are going to change the kind of like different tasting, you know, different complexity and different body to it. Again, I mean, that's why, you know, making coffee is great. You know, it's a lot of fun. So let's try one more time. So this is a uh, Casper. Thinned out a little bit, but very nice mouth feels to it. The coat your uh, your mouth, quite nice. Let's go back to Maizen one more time. So this is a uh, nice and cool right now. Kind of a nook warm. Oh yeah. It's more bright, okay? Give you a more sweetness from Maizen over cast so far. Uh, this is tough, okay? This is very tough. Because uh, I mean, I was, okay, I, I was hoping for like notably difference. I mean, there's not a lot of notable difference in this, especially with this coffee, all right, okay? And if you try something else, who knows? But yeah, notably, yeah, it's not quite. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make some Americano. Okay, let's make some Americano here. Uh, I got the water boiled up. So yeah, let's, let's, let, let's try something, okay? Because I want to compare So I'm gonna add, I don't know how many grams here. Let's do 10 grams of espresso, okay. 10 gram. That's 11, hold on. 10.6. 10 9.6. We'll get close enough. And I'm gonna add another tw uh, 20 grams of water. Go up to 30. There you go. So this is the Casper. This is the Maizen. Because, uh, because I wanna see, is there any taste difference? Uh, there we go. There's going to be any taste uh, difference uh, comes to Americano, okay, with the hot water. So let's start with Maizen, okay. Here you go, cheers. Okay. Still that sweetness, the lemonade. So this is a cast. Man. Comes to Americano, I prefer cut from cast. Wow, this yeah. Comes to espresso, I, I I prefer espresso from Maizen. But comes to Americano, I prefer from cast. Does that make sense? Again, that's a, uh, that's my personal opinion. The taste is so subjective. I mean, I have this, you know, I have this so subjective and. Man, there's no right or wrong answer. So, I mean, if you have a Casper right now, if you're thinking about changing to Maizen, my recommendation is, you know, hold on, okay? You know, you don't, uh, I mean, don't go, okay? I mean, I think Maizen and Casper are so close to each other. We are talking about a fraction. It's a little different. But if you have like high uniformity, uh, you have a, like, you know, high uniformity burst, if you have a stock burst, uh, if you want, 
something different, okay, you can go with the Meisner cast. It doesn't mean the Americana doesn't taste watery. Uh, y y yes and no. Okay, so one of you add on, you know, espresso, you can taste even more uh, tasting notes. Okay, so it's definitely, definitely different there. So, so coffee's cool down now. So let's try one more time here. So this is Meisner. Okay. Let's go back to cast. Yeah, more, a lot more going on cast than Meisner. So, comes to straight espresso, I prefer from Meisner. And, but it's a lighter body, okay, not as much as the cast. So, but if you are looking at Caspers with the Americano, like, you know, so which means the filter coffee should be, cast has a little upside. Yeah. Hold on, William, say, I might be the blast asking, but burr grinder are, okay, hold on, burr grinders are they meant for coffee beans? Could you use almond or cashews? Oh, don't. Okay, do not use almond and cashew on your burr grinder. You don't want to do that, okay? Uh, you just use that for coffee, you know, coffee only. All right? Yeah, do not use your nuts on your coffee grinder. Don't. All right, hold on a second here. I'm, I'm looking at the uh, live chat here. Uh, make sure uh, thumbs up on this video. Jack has, uh, will it be posting? Okay, uh, this morning's video. Forget about it, okay? Think of it as it's not exist, all right? Think of it as it's not exist. So uh, I'm gonna be reposting that video uh, end of February, all right? So we had a big misunderstanding. Yeah, so uh, again, uh, if you're just looking for that video, I think uh, 560 people saw this morning, the live session. So you, you, you guys are the only few people out there saw that grinder. I'm not gonna name that grinder yet, but yeah. Unfortunately, just kind of like timing issues. Uh, what else? Carry, I'm not good with the taste, okay. Yeah, temperature does affect, uh, affect your taste. Yep. Okay. Uh, William say, yep. Again, uh, do not use nuts. You know, you know, any kind of because they're too greasy, too oily. So yeah, d uh, don't do it. And the, I mean, that's why, uh, like EK forty three, they uh, they make birds for the peppercorns. Okay, you can actually uh, grind peppercorns and you know different uh, grains. But yeah, definitely not nuts. Okay, good news say, was not the official release? It's not. The official release is the end of February, okay? And uh, I mistakenly, I got a little confused about the email I got, so yeah. So this morning's video was a little accident, let's put it that way. Murphy say, a good fruity Ethiopia is a nectar of God. Yeah, you know what? If you got a really good Ethiopia, man, they're fantastic, okay, sweet. Yeah, I mean, they're completely different. If you're looking for classic style, if you're into classic style coffee, Ethiopia is not for you, okay? But if you want something different, something light, fruity, yeah, definitely. Yes, definitely try the Ethiopia. Okay, it's still in my box. Okay, Elaine, I see. Okay, they're available for buying. Okay, anyway, so I did a like first, not the first look, uh, especially that grinder. We are talking about the Fella Opus, okay? And uh, I did a video on that uh, beginning of the month, beginning of the month. Uh, the in, uh, in Gadget uh, did a video on it. So I did kind of like the, f uh, kind of like first look video, uh, commenting on their video, so anyway. Uh, JD say fellow police. Let's see what else. Again, uh, if you're just joining us, uh, we just compare Meisenberg versus Cast. Uh, okay, so again, uh, let's summarize that. 
Uh, if you are into straight espresso, I prefer the espresso from Maison. Okay, but the difference is very very small. Okay, very small. But uh, comes to Americano, I prefer from my again. That's my personal opinion. I prefer uh, Casper's. Let's put it that way. So next thing, what I need to do is I need to pull the proper like pour over types of coffee. So we're gonna do that uh, maybe maybe later this afternoon or maybe next week. Okay, and we're gonna pick the day. Let's compare uh, Cas versus the Maison. Okay, for like these sixty types. Okay, pour over. And I think I might do it with April or Oreo or something like that. So yeah, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty good comparison. Okay, what else? I think we are good. And uh, also, uh, I'm gonna also sh uh, shout out to all our friends at the live chat. Uh, Andy say V60 and Mizen. What grind say uh, P64? Okay. <clears throat> so Andy, so I've been using with the Mizen. Uh, let's see here. I say from the tripping or uh, the trip point, and I set around like 40 clicks after. Okay, so try that. One the, from the zero point, about 40 clicks. Uh, 40 clicks would be good. Uh, 40 to like four, uh, 40 to like 42 clicks there. Yeah, try that one. Okay, and see how it goes with the V60. You might want to go a little coarser though, but yeah, even like 50. Uh, 50 from zero point. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Uh, I think uh, I might be back, okay? I'll be back later today. You know, let's, yeah. I'll be back in about a couple of hours. Let's do the pour over. Okay, let's finish up. Let's finish strong for the Friday here. All right, see you next time.